This is the Jiyun Cinepure WeBuild 3E of their Cinepure line of products which aims to build affordable, high-quality products for creators. The gimbal comes in a cardboard box. Opening it up, we can see a grey foam case with the contents inside neatly in their foam cutouts. First, we can see a tripod leg, the base plate, the gimbal itself. The colour scheme is pretty cool with the light grey and black handle and black arms. Then we have some accessories like the cables and a screw for the base plate. You can screw in the tripod to the bottom of the gimbal, like this. The Weibull 3E is a lightweight 3-axis gimbal weighing a mere 990 grams. It is remarkably portable, making it the ideal companion for on-the-go shoots and travel videographers. Being lightweight ensures a comfortable grip and minimizing fatigue during extended shooting sessions. It has an integrated OLED display to easily navigate settings and conveniently switch operating modes. Double-clicking the M button takes you into POV mode. Jiyun's stabilization algorithms deliver smooth footage, even when capturing dynamic shots with full-frame cameras. The base plate is built to easily switch between landscape and portrait orientations without the need for additional accessories. You can remove the base plate and reinstall it like this for portrait orientation. The built-in 2600 mAh battery provides up to 16 hours of operating time on a single charge. It is non-removable, but I haven't had to charge the gimbal in a full day shoot. Charging is easy via the USB-C port. There is an exceptional master move accessory which features an attachable wrist rest and adjustable sling grip, reducing strain while maintaining stability even at extreme low angles. It's fairly easy to balance your camera on this gimbal with built-in axis locks to lock off the other arms while balancing on another. Each arm also has some markings on them to make it easier to visualize how far you're moving each arm. I tried balancing my Canon R5C with a wide-angle EF lens and an EF2 RF adapter with built-in ND which weighs approximately 1478 grams. Even though this camera is not on the compatibility list from Jiyun's site, surprisingly it balances pretty well. And I shot some scenes with two of my friends with the same setup. Here, let's take a look at some of the behind the scenes footage. Alright, one, two, three, one, two, Alright, one, two, three, go. Alright, one, two, three, ten. Okay, nice. Uh, uh, buat introduction sikit. Kau just keluar dari belakang pokok. Jalan je. Ha, jalan je. And then you just keluar and then you just pandang ke arah sana je. Okay, one, two, three, jalan. Just uh, bila I bagi Q, nanti you guys look at each other Nanti I just akan pusing je Alright, 1, 2, 3, look at each other Alright 1, 2, 3, jalan Pandang each other This gimbal has a payload of 3 kilograms. For a small gimbal, it has pretty beefy motors. So my Canon R5C setup balances great on it. But a thing I noticed was the eyepiece hitting the motor of the roll axis. 
when tilting the camera up. So there is a clearance issue here. Probably why this camera wasn't on Xiaomi's compatibility list in the first place. The camera has a protruding back end for the built-in fan that's causing the eyepiece to protrude even further back. This was what was hitting the back motor. If I used a smaller native RF lens, I could push the camera a bit forward which would solve the clearance issue. But I did use my old Fujifilm X-T3 and a standard zoom lens which works absolutely awesome and I shot this video with that setup. So I think this is a good gimbal for a beginner or a professional trying to lighten up their load. Uh, and I did manage to clear the rear motor on my R5C by sliding it a bit forward. Uh, the camera was out of balance, but then the gimbal actually handled it pretty well. It doesn't have uh, the fancy features like auto locking uh, accesses like other brands, but for 1099 ringgit for a gimbal, I think this is a very good value one. If you're interested, uh, check out the link down below. <laughs> 